What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Martin and today I am taking a look at one of the fastest cars in the world. I am not kidding you. The BMW X4 M40D. Now, let me explain why I think this is one of the fastest cars in the world. For traveling, for going from one side of Germany to the other, you need a car that's fast, a lot of power, and that can do a lot of distance on a single tank. Because if you would like drive this against uh, the average AMG, like an E63, this would win because the AMG would like have to refuel several times and this probably wouldn't have to refuel at all. So that's why it's so nice. This is so comfortable, but it can do big, big speeds. Uh, we have a lot, a lot of power and I just love this car and this drivetrain. Even though it's sort of anti-social nowadays to have a big, fat, powerful diesel, but I still like them. Uh, this is the M40D. That means we have the B57 340 horsepower diesel and 700 newton meters. And that's nearly the same as a BMW M5 CS. That one has uh, 750 newton meters. So really, really impressive. This BMW X4 really begins to grow on me because when I sit in it, I really prefer it over, over the X3 because of the coupe uh, line, especially this A-pillar, really fat A-pillar that curves over you. Uh, really, really like that. Let's have a look at the engine. So as I said, this is the B57 diesel engine with a bit of and performance carbon right there. 340 horsepower, 700 newton meters. And this is a mild hybrid. Now, how do I know that? Because I can see the purple cable that BMW uses for their mild hybrid system. So that means we at times have a bit of an e-boost to get up to that 340 horsepower. So what do you guys think of the design of the X4? Would you rather have this, the X3 M40D or something like an M340D? Please let me know down below and let me know if you like these wheels. These are 20 inch M performance wheels and nowadays you get red brake calipers as standard with M Sport brakes. And that used to be blue, but I prefer the blue, I have to say. We also have this cerium gray accents on the performance models, also the mirror caps and all the badges. And on the inside, we have a lovely red interior. And these seats are really, really nice, really sporty and comfortable. As for the interior, it's... This is so tacky. I, I wish they would have gotten rid of that. I absolutely hate that. It looks like it's from AliExpress. Okay, so I have the draggy installed right there. And let's start up that wonderful three liter straight six by turbo diesel engine. Now at idle, it does sound a bit diesely. You do notice it. Uh, even though you don't have any of the vibrations of a diesel. But when you get up to speed and when the engine has a bit more RPM, then it's just as smooth as an M40i. Okay, we're going to go for Sport Plus for the Autobahn. Traction control in Sport mode. And that way we also have launch control. And I'm going to show you how fast this car is. 0 to 100, 100 to 200 all the measurements you guys want to see. Okay, let's start screen recording right there. Uh, we also have a KPH speedometer and an MPH speedometer for our US and UK viewers and wherever else they use that stupid system. Okay, so as I said, this is an eight-speed ZF unit and it has a launch control feature. So we are going to use it and see how fast this car is. 
It's completely empty behind me, so I think we can get up to a nice speed from zero. I have my pots and pans in the back. I don't know what that was. That was a 5.1 to 100. A 13.25 quarter mile. Twenty one point five two to two hundred. Wow, the speedo is very inaccurate. What the hell is wrong with it? This is the limiter two forty again. This is this is unbelievable. Lately, these amp performance models are only doing 240 GPS. I don't know why BMW have, have done that, but it's with a lot of them. With the M340D, uh, this X4, we've had an X3 amp performance that also only did 240. I don't know why that's the case, because they claim it will do 250, but it's doing 240. Uh, really, really weird. Uh, the speedo is very, very inaccurate. I'm going to turn off the stupid safety systems. Really lo don't like those. I'm going to do a 100 to 200 test. With these diesel engines, you're always a bit faster if you short shift because it can do 5,000 RPM, but you know, you lose power when you do so. As you can see, I'm now doing a 15.7 and just now it did a 16 point something. So that's not too bad, right? For a little SUV, I think that's pretty impressive. Now let's see if we can improve on that zero to hundred time because I think we can. Uh, it was a bit cold back there, a bit damp. Uh, of course, these winter tires don't offer the traction you need to handle 700 newton meters, even though we have X drive, which comes as standard on one of these M40Ds. But it's a very sporty X drive because you can throw it around and you can even oversteer it. So It is a true BMW in that sense. Now, as you can see, we have a little e-boost right there, that blue text you just saw, and that's when that mild hybrid system gives you a little extra. But I have to say, these amp performance diesels and diesel engines in general, you don't have to drive it at 100%. If you drive them like at 70, 80%, just stick them into drive and let the car do everything in comfort mode. They are so nice because you just ride the wave of torque and it can do anything at any speed without any trouble. It will never sound or behave like it's really working. And I really like that about this drivetrain. Okay, this is a nice piece of tarmac. Let's see if we can improve on that zero to 100 time. We just did 5.1. Let's go for that 4.9 factory claim. Bit of wheel spin. 4.9 seconds, dead on. Good job, little, little, lovely diesel. It's not a little diesel, but it is a lovely diesel. Oh man, I have such a soft spot for fast diesel engines, for fast diesel cars. I, I just love them. The daily usability, the daily speed is just incredible. You know, for a day of fun, uh, an M40i or even an X4M would be uh, yeah, the best car ever would be better but for everyday use and for everyday costs this is so much better because you can do like 
15 kilometers per liter with this car. It can do up to a thousand, over a thousand kilometers on a single tank of fuel. That's incredible. That's incredible with the performance you get. And that's why I absolutely love this X4. Uh, what I also like about the X4 over the X3 I just mentioned is that roof line. You feel like you're sitting lower down. Um, the suspension, the platform is a bit more sporty even though they are quite similar. Uh, you feel much more like you're in a, a sporty BMW uh, and with the X, X3 you do really feel like you're in a small SUV. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little review of the X4 M4 TD. And let's hope that fast diesel engines, fast diesel cars get a second chance and lose the shady image they have. Because I think it's a bit of a misplaced image. Thank you guys. And please do check out this POV review, this POV reviews playlist. And please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Bye guys.